Good morning, everyone, and welcome to webinar two in the System Change Masterclass series. Um, I am Mark Carr, as you all probably know by now, and I just want to let you know that we appreciate you joining on time. We're going to give folks a few more minutes to join. Again, welcome to webinar two. We're going to give folks a few more minutes to join, so thank you for your patience. Um, if you can hear me, please mute yourselves. We are live on YouTube and we will be getting started very shortly. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to webinar two in the system change webinar series. Um, today we'll be speaking about system change um, and methods for system change. We have a great presentation for you this morning or afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, we're gonna give folks a few more minutes to join us this morning or afternoon or evening. <laughs> um, so please, um, just wait patiently for us. Thank you for your patience. And if you can, and if you aren't already, please mute yourselves. We will be getting started very shortly. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I can see that people are still joining. Um, so we'll give folks a little bit more time to join before we officially get started. Um, but what I would like to do now is just to um, ask you all to um, do a few things to help us manage this webinar uh, well. The first thing I would like to ask everyone to do is um, a, if you're hearing me, if you're a French speaker, um, hopefully by now you know that we have the interpretation feature. So please access the interpretation feature. Chalanju or someone from the Sahel team, would you like to say that in French? Fabrice is doing the interpretation. Well, yeah. So, I, I, yeah. Alors, for those, bon Yeah. Yeah, bonjour à tout le monde. Effectivement, alors, euh, bienvenue à ce webinaire. Alors, s'il vous plaît, en attendant que les uns les autres ne puissent nous rejoindre, donc essayez de vous mettre en mute, mais aussi essayez de renommer votre nom. Vous devez mettre la à laquelle qui vous sied le plus. Merci. Donc, vous renommez votre nom. Par exemple, pour moi, c'est Chanandjou Kware et j'ai mis la langue, donc tiré anglais, français. Pour vous, si vous êtes francophone, donc vous mettez français. Si vous êtes anglophone, vous mettez anglais. Merci. Merci, Chanandjou. Um, and for the English speakers who are on the call, um, we're also going to ask you to change, rename yourselves. So, if you click at the top of your screen, if you click rename yourself, please put in your, the name that you use to apply to the program and the language that you uh, would like to, um, that you would like to 
um, here this webinar in. The options are French or English. So if everyone can change your name and put the language, you can um, put the language that you are most comfortable with, either English or French. Okay, bonjour à tout le monde. Veuillez s'il vous plaît renommer vos noms. Alors si vous êtes euh, à l'aise plus avec, vous êtes euh, d'un pays francophone, donc vous mettez votre nom tiré français. Si c'est l'anglais qui vous intéresse, vous mettez votre nom tiré anglais. Faites euh, comme moi, c'est Chalandjou Poiré tiré anglais et français, mais pour vous, vous choisissez une langue. C'est pour les besoins de l'interprétation. Merci. Thank you, everyone. We're going to give folks just a little bit more time to join the call, and I'm going to go over the instructions again. Uh, Maria, um, I see that you're on the call, and we have a, so a participant who has posed a question in Spanish. Um, if you can please help this person out, that would be great. For everyone else, um, I'm going to provide instructions in English, and I'm going to let Chalanju provide some instructions in French. For English speakers, please change the name of, please change your name um, to the name that you applied with to this program and put your language preference, which of course will more than likely be English next to your name. This will help us um, as we put you all, place you all in breakout groups. Um, for the French speakers, Chalanju, could you um, reiter, uh, uh, repeat their, their instructions for accessing the interpretation services or interpretation um, feature? Alors, merci, merci et bonjour à tout le monde. Alors, nous vous prions de renommer vos noms, de mettre votre nom suivi d'un tiret et la langue, c'est-à-dire le français. Ceci, c'est pour les besoins des de groupes, parce que nous allons vous mettre dans des groupes de travail et nous souhaitons vous mettre ensemble pour que vous puissiez en tirer le maximum. Donc, si vous êtes à l'aise en français, laissez-nous savoir en renommant votre nom. Donc, le mien, c'est Chalanjou, paré, tiré. J'ai mis français, anglais, mais pour vous, vous choisissez la langue français. Donc, vous mettez votre nom, tiré, français. Merci. Thank you, Chalanju. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, without further ado, we're going to get started for sake of time. Uh, my name is Mark Carr. If you haven't learned that already, I am the program manager for this partnership and I work for Ashoka Changemakers. I am based in Washington, D.C., in the USA. And I'm really excited to. Um, 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 engage, we are really excited to engage you all this morning, this international cohort of change makers on the topic of systems change. Um, previously, we talked about personal purpose. So that's sort of in this program, this is where we've started and everyone should have a personal purpose statement. And now we're gonna talk about um, methods and strategies for creating systems change. Um, and I hope that as you follow along with this webinar series, you'll start to see um, these, um, how the different topics and themes are connected. Um, we are really excited to allow our team in Dakar, Senegal um, to take the lead on this webinar. So without further ado, I'm going to invite my colleague, Chalanju Kapare, who's based in Dakar, Senegal, um, to get us started. Thank you, Mark. Uh, so I will go in English. Sorry for my fellow French speakers. Uh, bonjour à tout le monde. So this is a pleasure for us to, to host this second webinar. And we are so excited and hopefully that uh, all the participants will get a lot of insights and also some lessons uh, from, from this webinar. So this said, my name is Chalanjou Paré. I'm the youth lead in, in based in Senegal for the Sahara region. Um, this webinar with some of my colleagues, we have Aziz, who is our communication manager. We have Fabrice also, who is, 
going to really help us doing the interpretation. And uh, also we have uh, Bakari CC, who is also supporting us on the, the youth program and our, our lead, with, who is uh, Nde Binta, who is the regional director. So this, today we are just happy to have Karim C. Karim C is one of our staff fellow that is going to, to pass us through the systemic change. As most of you know, basically Ashoka Works is really talking to systemic change. And this said, we thought that having uh, one of our leading social entrepreneurs who is Karim passing us through this we really have a great impact. And uh, just to let you know that our, our journey will be spending together one and a half hour. And uh, as, as you can see, uh, I'm sharing right away the, the agenda and you can see it on the chat room as is going now, you can see. And uh, during those one and a half hour, we really uh, will be happy to really interact, just ask some questions, really don't, don't hesitate when there is something that you are not getting to, to, to contribute as well. So it's my pleasure also to introduce to you, just jumping on, on what is bringing us together today is to introduce to you Karim C. So Karim C is, someone that we can define as a serial entrepreneur. He's also a business angel because he's supporting a lot of uh, youth ventures across the continent. But more or less, what he's doing is trying really to, to build the African innovation and the entrepreneur ecosystem across the continent. And this is doing this by building strong international alliances. But what brought him at Ashoka is, is joining in 2010 when he came up with these innovative ideas. Uh, it's just amazing because uh, I've got a chance personally to interact and to meet with him. But he launched in 2010 the first ever uh, organization named Jokolabs. And he launched it in Senegal so far. So it was the first African innovation hub uh, organizing in a new format uh, events and also supporting different innovation communities. And then we found him and since 2012, he is an Ashoka fellow. He is also a member of the Global Advisor Council of Startup genome for those who know is the world leading innovation policy advisor and research firm across the world and he have advised a lot of uh, ecosystem uh, key players uh, in developing strategy and action plan and this includes more than 15 government uh, in in 2019 so this is some of the achievement that we can we can bet on you I can finish by saying also that he's a board member of the, the, Q, the Global Entrepreneurship Network. For those who, who know that this is a big network that really used to have some events and also advocate for entrepreneurship. He also was part uh, from August 2017 to July 2019. He was part of the French, uh, French president, uh, Emmanuel Macron, appointed him uh, to be part of the presidential council for, for Africa. So there, they are talking about issues uh, related to, to Africa so far. And, uh, but where we know him, and uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure that most of you have heard about also digital Africa. So he was part of those who make this happen and he was elected uh, in October 29 as a chairman of Digital Africa, which is a non-for-profit alliance, by the way, announced by the French president and led by the French development agency with the mission of shaping and strengthening the African entrepreneur innovation 
ecosystem to enlarge the opportunity for entrepreneur in Africa. But Karim is really, let's say, the, the creme de la creme that we, we wasn't expected to have and we have him and we'll really be pleased to, 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 to hear him and, and so to allow him to, to pass us through the systemic change a journey somehow. But keep in mind that Jokolabs is present, has 12 herbs and more in eight countries, including in France, which is a, such a great achievement on my sense. So thank you for listening. And uh, we are just happy again to, to have you and Karim, you, you have the floor. So, but before giving the floor to, to Karim, we just have some couple, couple announcement. Please, we are doing the translation. You can just go and choose language to do the, to hear in which language you are comfortable. We have the French and English translation as well. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Chalandu, for uh, introducing me like that. <laughs> I will try to, to be uh, the term as you said. Um, thank you, Ashoka, and uh, thank you all for connecting to, to this. I will try to show you through the Jokolab uh, journey uh, how we, we deal with some tools on uh, on uh, system change, actually, because the whole idea of Jokolabs is how we build uh, an infrastructure, uh, physical and uh, virtual and, and more in material uh, to make system, system change, actually. And, and, and that's very interesting because perhaps when you see Jokolab first, perhaps you, you will think that it's a, it's a usual incubator or whatever, but the whole idea is what is behind, actually. So uh, you, you will get that. Uh, that, uh, well, so, so first the context, you know, where is the problem we want to solve? And I think we, we, are, we are a lot of, uh, on, on what. So I will start for presenting where I came to do Jokolabs and, 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 uh, and then what is behind Jokolab. But, so you will make the link with the, the both and the two. So what's what bring me that, uh, there is what I was just, I was doing my business and as I said, uh, as Chalangium said, I was doing a lot of business, uh, airplane, mining, uh, consultancy, and IT, so you name it. And, and, and then I was really shocked uh, about uh, um, the difference and the inequality we can have from people from the business side who are playing with money, a lot of money actually. I used to work with the Emirates and, and, and others, and I'm mainly working in Africa uh, who are, really poor and, and the gap between the, the both, you know? So something uh, so shocked me and I said, we need to do something. And when, when you look at the world and you try to understand it now and, and more than ever, we are in a VUCA world. We are in a world with volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. So when you want to change the system, actually the system is, is like that, is a VUCA system actually, very volatile, Incertain, complex, and and ambiguous. So, uh, how you deal with that? You know, it's 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 a very big problem, and 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 we are in a world where there is that that picture shows that also we are losing our value or even our our capacity to to lecture the the, the what's going on. I mean, you can see those people; they are going just for swimming. Uh, they're at the beach, and and there is people who die just. Uh, at a at, at few meters from them, you know? So it's totally crazy when you think of it, yeah. So we want to, to deal with that and find a way to, to, to mix it. And, and as I said, there's plenty of crises. We, we know there's social crisis, economical crisis, political crisis, I mean, you name it. And now we have the COVID. And the COVID is very interesting because the COVID show us that we can do what we think is impossible, meaning stopping all the business and all the work actually. No plane, nobody on the road, nobody working, nothing. People just alone at their, at their home. So we can do that when, if we want. So uh, there is, so the impossible is possible if we really want it. And, and, but we want, we need a collective effort. So the COVID is perhaps the, 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 
the biggest crisis we, we, we are facing now, but be, be beyond that, you have also the the economic crisis is coming, the, the social crisis coming, the, the ecological crisis uh, is still there. So there is something Einstein says is that we can't solve a problem if we have the same mindset than when we are created. So we need to change actually the paradigm. We need to change the way we do things and we need to change actually to to even go for not a planet, a planet B, but for how we, we deal to have a, a sustainable world where we can live uh, and, and not just with masks and, and, uh, and uh, with the COVID and all those uh, problems we, we face because we create it. We need to change the way we do things. We need to change the way we live. We need to change you know, the, the way we, we, we are doing a lot of things actually. And in the meantime, we are in a transition where the world is totally changing and, and mainly pushed by demographic. The European is, is decreasing become older, uh, the emerging country, many um, uh, India, China, Africa is becoming the biggest population on earth. Uh, Africa will be the one of the main with one fourth of the 25% of the, uh, the active uh, power on and, 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 and 2050. So we see that there is a total shift and even Google was saying, who will consuming internet is not the American, but it will be um, the, the African, the Indian, the, the Chinese. So, uh, and, and we saw that even if we're talking about the, the driving forces for change that technology, we see that even in that, got, now there's challenge. I mean, we can see with the 5G uh, and the problem with uh, China and, and, and the US. So the leadership even is, 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 uh, is, uh, is challenge. So, we have so many challenges, so we really need to change the way we we are we are uh, our view to the world and understanding the world and how it is going. And to change those those things, to anticipate, to understand, we need to change the the way the relationship we have with all different organizations. So, Jokolab actually uh, we try to anticipate all that to say, okay, we want to pioneer that new model of business and entrepreneur in uh, the paradigm of a new emerging digital economy. So that new economy that's emerging, uh, taking advantage of it. And, and for that, also the, the objective we want and our mission was to create a sustainable collaborative ecosystem. So listen to all those words, <laughs> uh, collaborative ecosystem around our creative hubs, so places, physical places where like-minded people of all skills, background, experience can connect, share ideas, learn, co-create and drive entrepreneurial innovation and social change for a shared prosperity. So you see that we want a new way of uh, being an entrepreneur. We want people who are entrepreneur, why entrepreneur? Because we say we need to change the mindset. So we need, we need people who are entrepreneur those who can think of something that is totally crazy or do not exist. And, and they can, they go for making it, not just thinking, but they, you know, take the hand and they go and they make it, they make it happen. So they want to do her. So our approach is based on creating creative space. Uh, so it's a place, uh, non environment very collaborative. So we push for collaboration, the way the, 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 the space is designed and, and uh, so we can foster entrepreneurship cross pollination from, from the people who go there so they can, they can exchange, you know? And, and we do that in several places. So actually for now we are uh, on seven countries uh, and we are opening a few more uh, uh, this, uh, this year. Um, we build on that community on the hubs, uh, community of actors. So it can be a community of people who are doing yoga. It's from a community of people who are doing, uh, I don't know, IT or people who are doing social entrepreneurship or, or more specific things. So you have different type and the diversity is nurturing the innovation. And then we have what we call the action tank. A non-commercial one is where you do things even with a community of people, benevolent uh, volunteers who comes and joins for doing things. Uh, uh, for the benefit of all. And, and when it's for the benefit of few, and usually it's more the corporate, uh, 
uh, we do it commercially, so they have to pay for it to 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 get the that uh, uh, the engagement of the community uh, to to be on that. So, and then we we tried from there to 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 test and, and and experiment a new way of doing things, and that's that's one of the labs actually uh, I did. Oops. Oops. So first thing is how we can work differently, thinking and acting together. So the collaborative action and collaborative entrepreneurship. Uh, that's the first phase. And, and that's why all the space is designed the way to people to, to bump on each other. And to so actually we're facing now a challenge with the COVID. So that's interesting. Then we try to push them to build a community, to be uh, together, to do things together. You, you like to do, I don't know, uh, even painting, so how you can build a community around painting, you know, so you can share uh, something you are passionate about with others and, and build, you know, connection with others and, and build it locally, but also with the others on other herbs. So it's also how you make that, uh, that, that connection. So it's really both online and face to face, you know, so doing that also, you build trust that like you have people who come, you know, and say, oh, this guy is my competitor. I don't want to talk to him, but then they meet in another, in a community where they don't have to do anything to do with business. They know how to learn to 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 know each other. They break down the barrier and they they build trust and they they finish to work together because they understand that they can do things together. So uh, it's cross disciplinary. It's knowledge sharing. Is I mean we can build a lot of things, but mainly also it needs to be fun, social, and, and convivial and. All this is bringing innovation. To give you an example, we have one uh, lady who was working on what, what a program we launched was calling uh, Joko Kids. This was uh, creative activity and digital for the kids. And, and at home, she, she was uh, uh, a dancer for the, 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 the Senegalese dance, you know, uh, Sabah. And, and, uh, and her, her husband was someone from a family very knowledgeable on, on that kind of music. And we have another guy who come to work on, uh, on um, uh, crowd, crowd, crowdsourcing, a study to understand the dynamics beyond, beyond, uh, behind, uh, behind the, the, the crowd the funding, sorry. And, and during the night, this guy was a DJ. <laughs> so uh, the both actually met and they would start working on what we call the electronic sabah, and they they, learn, they launch a new kind of music, and now they are they are selling uh, performance in France and and everywhere. So so that shows you also that it's not just digital and and perhaps application or whatever you can go to the culture cultural things and whatever you don't know what can come out of uh, of all this. So. The, 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 the other layer is really research and action tank, how we, we feel things and, and small, you know, um, uh, uh, small signal and, and, and try to amplify our work on, on it to, to find new ideas of thing, things and uh, building networks. That's how we launch uh, a lot of things on, on around the uh, community engage on, on election and transparency for, uh, uh, the, 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 the civic uh, uh, tech. And, and we have uh, also a lot of things that have been around the, uh, the, 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 the sanitary and the elf uh, mapping, for example, to get all the understanding of the, the mapping, uh, um, the elf uh, uh, sector in, in, in different country and those, those kind of things. So, and, and that's, that, that is the, the health one. So, so we, we make an exploration, we bring people from the health sector. So it's uh, multi actors, uh, different stakeholders from the government, from uh, the, the volunteers, the technical volunteers, as we say, the knowledgeable on some tech technology. People are working on data uh, from people from the, the health sector uh, that then they understand why they're doing things, you know, so they, they build uh, mapping, card, ge uh, ge uh, information geographic system uh, around health to understand what's the dynamics in, in, in Senegal so we can uh, have a better analysis and, 
and orientation of the, the policy. Uh, and to, to give you an idea to do that, uh, we, we have done it with very little money and it has been stopped because the government, don't, uh, well, the guys who was in charge actually uh, wants to launch a big tender, you know, for, for a few billion CEFA. Actually, he, he backed everything he can to, to stop this project. And actually we stopped, but for the COVID, we just bring back and with 500 volunteers to do that again. So you can see that and the COVID with the urgence of, uh, of the, the crisis, we can, can, can show how we need those kind of, uh, of, uh, uh, of system, you know, to respond to, to things and to be ready. Uh, can you imagine if we have done it for since 2006, the, the, the time we start this, uh, instead of, you know, just doing small things uh, and do it in a more proper way. And actually we are now uh, doing a, an advocacy for that. Um, so it can, it can become uh, very uh, more systematic. And, and for the COVID actually, we have take the, the resources and the ideas we bring from all those uh, approach to bring uh, in Senegal, what we call Dan COVID-19, uh, uh, which is a, a, a response with volunteers, with people from the private sector, with uh, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of uh, IT, the, some more than uh, 500 volunteers. And I don't, in those volunteers, I just talk about the expert and not all those, all those who was working on the mapping, for example, who were 400, not all those who were working on the information and the communication part who are like 1,000. Uh, and etc. etc. So you have a lot of uh, experts who was involved in that, uh, and and it shows that a new way of sharing resources to build something together, and and that's very interesting. And and so a collective approach, we can dig on that. So all this, so it show you the kind of uh, project we, we can we can be involved in. Um, so what's the mechanic behind that? You know, I, I take this from, I've been part of the Globalizer program and all this, so I have some few uh, materials from Ashoka. I don't know if you have access to that, but um, when we talk about system change, we're talking about new resources, new elements, relationship, flow of information, rules of mindset. And if you hear about what I was saying, actually, I was talking about that, how we bring resources together. So like in the, respond to the COVID with Dan COVID in Senegal, how we all bring uh, some resources from uh, all the stakeholders, the Ministry of Health, the private sector, the technical volunteers, the, the NGO and all this to do things together to respond to the COVID. You know? So that's, that's how we create new resources because we open the, the, the resources and we are not in a proprietary mode. We share it because we, we understand that it's a need for the collective response and for the benefits of the, the a better future. Uh, so with that, actually, they all have some quality that the individual don't have uh, as an individual. That's why we all come together. So that's bring new element actually we, we can create. And we have a new relationship because usually you have a relationship more in the, in a business model, like you contract someone and then you have to respond, here's your customer. You know, so that's different. You are in a, you're building a partnership, you know, uh, uh, a virtuous uh, 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 mode. Um, for evidently, it's, uh, it's, it's evident that the flow of information is totally different and, and mainly because of the IT and the, 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 the uh, the nature of the information system we have now. So we can build things and exchange information in a way we have never been able to do it. And more than that, we can have new rule, a way of organizing ourselves uh, with the IT system, uh, with the social network and all this to exchange together, like what we are doing now, uh, we, we never have been able to do it. So. It, it gave us more capacity to do things. And, 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 and as we say, we need to, to change the way we think. So as you understand, we, we are talking about ecosystem. And, and, and actually I'm talking a lot about ecosystem because we think 
Jokolab as an ecosystem, meaning a lot of organizing that uh, interacting between them. So we are all in the same environment and we are all uh, interacting and we have all um, uh, a connection together. So, and that connection is very important actually. So we have an interdependence and an interconnection and, and the COVID again, show us that we have that and we have to take care of it, you know? And even if uh, something happening in China can impact us. And we realize that very clearly now. So, uh, so we need to think as an ecosystem, as a system, as say, uh, as Ashoka is saying, you know? But the problem with ecosystem that you have ecosystem in the ecosystem. So it's like, you know, this Russian uh, uh, poupé, I don't know how to say in English. Um, uh, and, and you know, you take the one and it goes to the other. So you have the ecosystem is, is, is becoming even more complex, you know? Um, so which one you want to use? And actually that's the complexity also of Jokolabs because we want to build uh, a system that can adapt for a, a, a main ecosystem like Ashoka is doing with the social entrepreneur with different types of, of, of solution for the system, uh, like for energy, for a solution, for uh, water problem, for agriculture, or, or different types. But the thing is, as we are all interconnect, uh, and as the, uh, the diversity is creating the more capacity for uh, innovation, the more system you have inside, the more capacity for innovation you have, but the more complex you are. So that's why we, we, we build the collab and we think about it as a, an artificial reef. We put the hubs in some places and there is not uh, one size fit for all. I mean, every condition is different, but where entrepreneurs can come, have security, can, can be completely full together because when you're alone and you're isolated, it's very tough. You know it as a, as a system changer or, or an entrepreneur, and then you can have other people you can exchange and, and have like mind, and then also be connect to the global as you are doing now. So you can have more um, uh, nurturing of your project because sometimes you can find um, a solution from 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 other places. So, um, so to to make a, a resume, I mean, Jokolab is place where you can find all this and be connected to the to the world with different partner we bring in uh, from the government to the corporate to the NGO and thing. because if you look at it and actually I'm coming from the private sector but I used also to be uh, active in the associative uh, uh, the, the, uh, several association and NGO I start actually uh, to install uh, hand pumps for, for water, you know, for the, for the, for the rural area. And, and it's very interesting to see that every uh, sector I've been engaged was working in silo. So we need to break all those silo, you know, to break the walls, to make those interaction. Um, so as we say, we want a vision for entrepreneur, but entrepreneur with a vision for the shared prosperity, not just for themselves, so need, that's something we need to change. Remember, want to fight against inequality. So how we can change. And actually what is interesting is, you know, I, I quote the former CEO of Unilever, Paul Pullman, who was pushing this at the World Economic Forum of Davos, you know, and say, we need to change the way we think. So we think share value is tremendously radical. So redefine how business operate at the core. So uh, think about the product, the value chain, and I think about the boundaries of their responsibility. So how they can think about sharing, you know, the value they, they create as a corporate. So it's changing the, even the corporate are changing their, mind, their mindset, you know, for uh, having impact in social need, business, or uh, uh, others. But behind Jokolabs, and, and you will understand more why we, we have gone uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way, uh, we, we were, first you need to understand that we launched Jokolab 10 years ago. So when, 10 years ago, there were no hubs, there were no uh, place where the, the people can, can come join as entrepreneur. 
um, there were not this approach of uh, of community, and 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 uh, and so we want that kind of entrepreneurship, and and even just to talk about entrepreneur and young entrepreneur in, in Africa, it was it was new, and then to talk about the digital economy was even new, and and the theory of uh, change we we bring is to go for emergence and. And what happened is when you are in a transition, actually we are in a transition world uh, where we are, the economy is, is changing. Uh, the way people are acting is changing. The technology is changing and technology is changing very quickly actually. Um, so we, everything is changing and we need to change because of even the, the ecology and, and what the impact we, we have with all those crises. Uh, then we have those, emergent system we are here it was ashoka is trying to to identify but others also are trying to do that and so we need first to connect the pioneers and build some networks and that's what we want to to achieve with a physical presence with a hub uh, around the hub so it's local but we want to connect it also to the global that's why we 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 talk about uh, the global approach i mean being global but being local I mean, you fit on the ground with local problematics, but also you had uh, is global, so you can also nurture yourself with other solutions and other things that's coming from, from the, the, the connection you have or, around. And, and that's the Joko of Joko Lab. Actually, Joko in Wolof, it means the connection, it means the communication, like the link. So we want to make that link, you know, between the people, between the, the, the sectors, between the uh, uh, different, uh, and breaking the silo, as I, as I say. So that's the Joko. Uh, and, and, and also, that's why also we, from the beginning, our DNA was international and was to, to have several apps and not just one we're focusing on. So that's why we, we even opened for getting just one hub in, in a garage, you know? Um, so uh, we, we, we push for, for that. Um, the, the other things we need to understand is that uh, how the change is happening, uh, and it's not just happening from one job uh, after a period, but actually it's coming from a lot of experimentation. It's like the nature, you know, you go and you you, you put some seeds in, in, the, in that, uh, in that uh, soil and it works, it doesn't work. So you make some change and, and then it works. So, so you need to experiment and, and, and try things. So that's the labs of Jokolab. So we need to create the condition where we can experiment a lot of things and, and then to have some who can, who can make an improvement and they can have a success. So that's why we push for uh, all those experimentation. So you come with our project, but we want to push you actually to participate to, to, to some communities, but you want to, to, to see, and that's the, the, the job of the team, to feel if there is something we can do and, and have a new experimentation for our program. And, 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 and then that program, can we capitalize on that and, and, and make a, some, some change? Something also very important is, as we are in a transition, but more than that, we are, in a chaotic or complex uh, environment. And that means we can't, uh, we can't be engaged in, uh, in, our, um, uh, in the, 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 uh, the solution thinking the way we used to do it. Because the way actually all the donors and, and plenty of people is, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, is, is trying to do it is, is a complicated mode to come and say, okay, you know what? I have some experts and those experts can find the solution. They can't because actually the problem we're facing, we don't know them. So we don't have an expert who have uh, passed through it. And that's why you have all those experts who are talking, you know, louder one to another. And there's all these, uh, uh, discussion going on from expert because everybody tried to, to, to give his understanding. But the thing is, we are in front of complexity and chaotic uh, situation where we don't know because we haven't faced it yet. So that's the problem. So we can't, uh, and, and that's model came, you know, when, uh, 
IBM was thinking about uh, building um, Watson, you know, intelligence, artificial intelligence. So, and, and also how they can capture their knowledge uh, in, in IBM. So that's, that's, that's where we are. So that means also we need to be really open mind. We need to go in a more collaborative approach uh, to go for testing and, 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 and acting, you know, we need to do things. So that's why also sometimes we need to look at, at this third layer with the, the most developed one. Um, we are an action tank. We are, uh, we act and we just, you know, just acting for doing things and we try. It works, it doesn't work. You know, we don't care. We have to experiment. We don't have the time actually. To, to think about the big uh, reflection and make a big strategy because even in two years or even in three months, everything will change. We don't know. And the COVID uh, again, stresses to, to show that the impossible is possible. And, and, and there is other threat that coming as we know as uh, uh, from the ecological and we can think simple as we want, but actually the complexity will, will come back to us. Uh, and, and when we're talking about the experts, I mean, those experts assure us also that actually we don't have to, to give them too much trust, you know, because they, they, they really um, make a lot of mistakes sometimes, you know. Uh, you have, uh, I give some example during all the, because it's not new, I mean, uh, like the, 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 the federal office for the, uh, for the IP in, in 80, in 90, in, in in 1890, uh, he said everything that can be invented have been invented. I mean, uh, come on, man! You know, there's so many things that came after. Uh, the the uh, the CEO of the 20th century Fox uh, in in the 30s, when the TV just appeared, he said, "No, there this have no chance to be a success. It will be just for six months because nobody will will look at uh, watching the TV every day." You know, so so. Uh, uh, Watson, the, 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 the chairman of IBM in 44, we say in 43, we say that there is no matter for, for a, a market for, a, for, for a computer or just five, you know, because at that time it was the super computer of the NASA. And can you imagine that now my, my smartphone is bigger and more stronger and, and have more capacity than the laptop, the, 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 the the big computer he was talking about at that time, and it cost nothing, you know? So it's totally crazy when you think about it, you know? And even Ghana in 2010, 75% of the GPD of, the, of Ghana have changed, and the, the international organization have made mistake. Can you imagine? So, uh, so as, as was saying, uh, a French president, you know, the war is too serious to, to let it just for the for the military. So the same thing. I mean, the 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 planet is too serious to leave it just for all the experts and all the politicians. So we need to engage as uh, as uh, as as uh, citizen uh, also to 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 be part of uh, of the change. So. Open source is also from principle, you know, I've been a, an open source activist. Uh, I even uh, invest in some open source uh, company to understand the model. And uh, for me, you know, as we have to master the, the, the IT, uh, the technology, and, and I think, you know, open source movement uh, uh, started and they, they are the one who have built all this, uh, all this uh, internet and all this, this infrastructure we are we are working on now, and actually we we got the chance to to do things uh, now and is running is really the power behind internet and everything, uh, the the telecommunication and, and everything. There's a lot of open source uh, uh, system and open source actually is free. The, the 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 source code is free, so it's totally crazy. You have people from around the world who are working in the same project, you know for the benefit of the world. So again, we come with that idea of how we can do collaboration to do things that benefits to the world, you know? And not just being in, in just in this uh, one, two and, uh, and capture the, 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 the value. So how we can share the value, how we can build together and, and make things together. So that's also what is behind. And when you look at the, the, the open source movement, it's an, it's an ecosystem. You can, you see the, the, the software, but behind there's a lot of things, you know, collaboration, there's 
companies, uh, there is a community, there is a lot of collaboration and things that, that go behind, you know, and that makes the, 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 the real things behind. So, and, and actually that's what is said by, uh, by Ashoka when you want to, to scale your, uh, your initiative and go, actually you need to, to go for openness. And that's what we do with Jokolab. Actually, the, the model is free. You want to join Jokolab, you just come and we, we check if you are in the same mindset. We check if you have the same value and you want for openness. We check if you are non-perfect and you want to stay as a non-perfect uh, because we, we don't make money on it. But you can make money from the external, um, the externalities, as we say, as uh, the economists, you know. Uh, but not from the initiative. You need to think collaboratively for, from, from that. Like for example, I was saying about talking about this uh, uh, mapping uh, uh, community. Uh, actually, one of the leads create his own company and now is working as a, as, as a consultant with, with more than 20 uh, consultants uh, to, to deliver some, uh, some uh, consulting uh, around mapping and things for, for for, for, for different type of customer. So, so we are in a, an open source model. We open the things and we share, when you enter in the network, we share with you what we know and we organize the, the, the movement so people can share their knowledge uh, together. As we say, and as uh, this guy from Yale University is saying that the world is becoming too fast, too complex to network, for any company to have all the answer inside. And that's also bring a new complexity in the thing. Uh, what is that the way we do innovation now is what we call open innovation. So uh, there is a lot of com concept that are coming and tools you need to, to work with. And that open innovation is how we do things together. Like uh, Google, when they come with, uh, um, with uh, Android, they open, it's open source. So people can join and bring things and do things together and, and actually uh, suggest new evolution of, of, uh, of the, the software. Even you can work on a car, the autonomous car from uh, uh, Beidou, which is one of the leader in, in, in China now, it's open. I mean, you go on internet, you can have access to this and start working on, on your own, uh, uh, a car, autonomous car uh, from Senegal or from whatever. That's what we need to know. And when we say we need to connect, uh, I was with that guy, Mr. Njai. Uh, he's in chess, he's not even in the capital. He built that car and believe me, he make 100 kilometers, uh, he, 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 he go really quickly. This is a, a real car. This guy is not an engineer and he built that car. So can you imagine if this guy is in contact with that knowledge and have other folks who can come and join him in the community to build another car. What's, what's it's open? So it's, it's open the impossible. So that's, that's also the things we want to see. And that's why we say we want to see global. We want to see global knowledge, global sharing to local capacity and local uh, adaptation. So, and all the behind and all this idea behind also the open source and the, the approach of openness and thing is co-creation, collaboration, collective action, community. Again, together you're more than just the sum of the part. So uh, there is the first president of Senegal was saying we need to, to be on the, on the rendezvous du, du, of the gift and to receive. And, and we are at that, uh, at that time now to give and receive, you know? Uh, and, and sometimes you are the giver and sometimes you are the receiver. That's what happened in the community. Okay, I'm giving to you, but I'm sure if we stand all together, the people will give me something and I will receive also. So it's not just one side, it's really an interaction. And that's also what's happened in, a, in an ecosystem actually. So it's not just one direction uh, thing. And, and that's also linked to the way we perceive things because we need to change the way we have the perception of things. Like the North have to give to the South. It's finished, it needs to exchange. You know? This guy, is, you say, this is a, a six and the other one is saying, no, it's a nine. They, it's just a matter of the perception they have and the, 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 the point of view they have from the, 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 the place they are, that's it. It's not 
they are all saying the, the good thing actually, but it's just a, a, a thing of the perception. It's like that, uh, that woman we can see, I'm, I don't know, but we can make the test, it's very known, and uh, some see uh, very young ladies and others see uh, old ladies. So, uh, but the, the both respond is good, you know, that image is the both. So, so perception is very important. So before being, you know, and when we build that community and we want to find solution for the, for the role and the community and be open, we need to open your mind also to, to listen to the others because actually what they say can be the reality, but it's their reality. And their reality is another part of the, 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 the true story actually. So we all have part of it. So, so as you, you see to have uh, the impact and to make it, uh, you need to have a real capacity for indirect impact. As you can see alone, I haven't been, I, I will never be able to do what I've achieved. Uh, and why I haven't been able to do it is because all the hubs are opened by people who are entrepreneurs and building smart networks actually, uh, because we are open and we, 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 we manage together. So uh, the dissemination is, is more, is more uh, uh, clear and active. So again, it's, it's, we do that you know, with the creative hubs and even we involve the, the uh, the members, like one member went to Congo and then he opened the hub now in Congo because he was, but he was uh, at the beginning just uh, a, a co-worker in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Senegal. So we have all those tools, the way actually we try to, to build that movement, even if we are not very good in, in communication. Uh, and, and something very important, we believe in our own capacity, meaning we are not a phone runner. We are not running about phone with the donors and everything. We really act as entrepreneur, meaning we try to find the resources for our project, but for from our own capacity. And, and that's perhaps why with the COVID, actually there's for now, thanks God, not one hub have closed. Not one hub are closed. You know, and it's, it's, it's really something because we have, uh, we have been closed actually uh for four for four months nobody came to the hubs but as we build the approach by engaging entrepreneurs for being uh, uh committed to the hubs and to the initiative then uh, they are, they, we are all do, doing it together as a collective so uh they, they, they take the the challenge to, to 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 keep it open you know and, and, and together then we build all those capacity for advocacy, like, but we can do it with different networks. For example, to push for this shared um, value approach or a new approach of the entrepreneur to have an impact, we join forces with Ashoka. And now we are uh, making a lot of advocacy for the, the new law for uh, uh, social entrepreneurship in Senegal, for example, and other in, 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 in Africa. So, same also how you build uh, your network to 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 push for the the value you believe in is not needs to be just in your uh, uh on in your um your uh, your own mark you know need to be joko labs with the leading you know, it's not that how you join forces and you do you don't care yeah you know. and 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 then go for this approach I mean, we, we were saying that is in how we do our leadership. Our leadership is not just, I want to be the one you know, in front and it's me and I'm the best, the, the brightest and, and everything needs to come to me. But actually you need to share your leadership. You need to have more transparency. People need to, 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 to see that they can trust you. And actually you are more uh, guiding the principle of the initiative and, 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 uh, and, and giving a lot of autonomy to uh, your, yeah, your different purpose. So for us, all the apps are totally autonomous, and we have uh, what we call the Jokolab Global, and who come for supporting them, trying to make uh, uh, to take the knowledge from one project to 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 you know, country to share it to another one, and and then we have this uh, feedback process from from all the apps, 
and to share the knowledge and the project and perhaps to build it together. Uh, and and the, the team are, uh, are very autonomous. So then perhaps you understand more what we want to achieve as uh, creating a collaborative ecosystem, as we say, uh, around creative hubs. So the hubs are really aiming for pushing for creativity and innovation and to bring people from everywhere to share, to co-create and drive for entrepreneurial innovation, entrepreneurial innovation and social change for a shared prosperity. And then you understand that we are very keen on not just finding the new social you know, social network or whatever, we are more keen to find the new solution for the education, for you know, all those big issues we are facing. And, and, and it was very interesting. I, I used to met uh, the, the former CEO of, uh, of the, um, uh, the, the Singularity University. I don't know if you, you're aware of that. This is university. In, Hello? Yeah. Karim? Yes. Oui? Yeah, please do you be mindful on the timing. We we have almost 30 minutes left. Then the Q&A, yeah. I'm finishing. But you can just. Okay. So uh, I was saying this guy was saying, you know, and Singularity University, they try to anticipate when the technology will take over of the humanity. And actually it's, it's created, it's, it's built by NASA, uh, Facebook, Google, and all those big. Uh, big name and and the guys were saying you know the big hit will not be the guys who come with this big this new social network but those who will find solution for the 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 main problem and issue of the world uh, what like Ashoka is saying so uh, so that's that's what we want to to see just one warning is that uh, we need to include the the complex thinking and it's it's complex thinking is is uh, something invented by Edgar Morin is a French. Uh, uh, thinker and, and, and that means also the system you create get effect that is 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 uh, negative to the whole system so you have the negativity in your system even if it's coming to solve a problem so you you need to be every time in a kind of retroaction to to think about uh, your your system and also to 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 um, to transform the system in a, in a kind of uh, uh, um, uh, a circle, you know. Um, that's it. So thank you for for listening, and I'm open to 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 your discussion. Thank, thank you, Karim, for this presentation, and you have almost over all. I appreciate. So now we are opening the the Q and A session. So for you that you have taken note of a lot of things, so it's a time for you to ask questions if there is something that you didn't get. So the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. So can we take the floor directly or we have to raise the hand and, and wait to be allowed for speaking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please raise your hand and then we can give you the floor as soon as it's going in, yeah. Hmm? Mark, please, you are the one who can handle it. Boho, boho, Jani Hunga and Lukusat at the Nomana Ras Luga, Rasu Shushing, the Via and in conference. Shushing it at the moon. Okay, Christian. Okay, thank you. So, uh, Hello. this is Christian Elongi from Accra in mm -hmm. Ghana. Uh, thank you so much, Karim, for the very great presentation. I learned a lot from the Jokolab uh, model. So, I have two key questions. The first one is at the level of uh, the system change that you have uh, uh, that you have presented. I would like to know you have. There are various components in terms of system change. You talk about the resources about the mindset and many other things. From your experience, which one is more difficult, you know, to get in terms of change? You know, because I have my own idea. I do believe that most of the time we may often have the resources, but the most difficult change to drive is the mindset change. So do you agree with that? 
or if not, from your experience, which change is more difficult to have? And my second question is, uh, is related to, towards your last slide, you talk about the various elements of the infrastructure and you mentioned knowledge development. So I would really like to know more about this because I am a knowledge management uh, specialist. So I would like to know more about how do you capture the lesson learned from all these various initiatives? How are the lessons learned being documented? How is the experience of Jokolab and the various, uh, the, the various up, you know, being made available and accessible for open, open learning also? So if you can share more light on those two components, I will really appreciate. Thank you. So, sorry, sorry, Karim, before you, you jump in, for the participant, be mindful on the timing allow order and a lot of participants to, to also ask a question just uh, and then uh, you not to allow Karim to, to answer. For, for French speaking, please, you can just type into the chat and then we can go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Christian, for your question. Actually, yes, as you say, the mindset is the, the biggest uh, issue. I mean, uh, uh, you can have a lot of things, but the, 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 the mindset and, and thinking as in a collaborative mode or even a value sharing uh, is totally changed. I mean, people, you know, are, uh, are more keen to, to take it for themselves and, and don't want to share and, 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 and as soon as it works, you know. So that's, that's, uh, that's a real issue, but we need to think to the, that, and the problem is, you need to you can't anticipate I mean you, if you do that it's a short term and it's very interesting because we have a lot of people who come you know take things from joker labs and then run and do their own things but what we see is that is is like you you're taking a um, a branch you know out of the of the tree and actually die somehow it, it can grow but I mean it's not growing as it can uh, if it was in the ecosystem you know uh, and it's very interesting because then some come back or you know try to find a way to 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 come back and and we need to be open also. So that's also something we need to work to on us uh, as leaders to first uh, doing things even for people you don't like <laughs> because you need to do it for everybody as we say and and even if we don't like them it's perhaps a question of perception. So we need to be really open. And, 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 and that's the real generosity actually. And, 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 and secondly, we need to be open for those who even make mistakes that come back, you know, if they really uh, understand the, the, the issue. Um, secondly, yes, the, the knowledge is, is really a big issue. Perhaps you, we need to yeah. bring you in to share with us because we always try new things. So uh, we build a, uh, a website, uh, internal website with different tools for collaboration and, and you know, we have a drive, uh, we have all these uh, Google tools and we have plenty of tools, Just some are not using it, those, some are using it and so it's, it's really an issue. I believe that there is, a, there is some um, technology that will come, but uh, actually we, we didn't find the perfect one uh, and, and the one is working for sure is that we have a one monthly call for all the leads uh, who are exchanging directly, you know, and, and then, uh, yeah. And the team, the global team have to dig into the document perhaps sometimes to, uh, to bring it to the, the people to facilitate uh, the, the understanding. Uh, for now, that, that, that's how we do. But we have a lot of materials we're sharing. Thank you. Thank you, Karim. Other question? So for French speaking, you also Hi. question, Daniel. So Daniel, I'm seeing Daniel, Jackman. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Daniel speaking. Um, regarding to the story of uh, Jokolabs that Karim has presented, I would like to inquire, how does he manage the risk of scaling uh, Jokolabs in reference to jurisdiction, changing thinking of the communities that they go into what framework have they put in place? Can this framework be replicated to create more impact into communities? 
I think that would help. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the question. Actually, as we said, it's three layer. And actually, the more you go up, like from first is the place, second is create communities. So, you, and every time you go uh, to the second layer, you need more um, uh, capacity, knowledge, and, and actually uh, uh, you have more impact. And, and then is the action tank with all this uh, research and experimentation. Not all the hubs have that capacity. And, but we take for granted that um, everybody needs to take his time to develop. It's like uh, a tree again. Uh, you put it there, perhaps it, it will be fantastic and grow very quickly. And you put it in another places like for us now, the hub in Mali is very, we are struggling a lot because entrepreneurship is difficult. The economy is difficult because of the terrorism and the context, you know? So it's, the soil is not very great for that, but we are there and we want to push for uh, uh, knowledge sharing and have a place where people can also have access to something else. So uh, we, we, we are there again, we still. And, um, and so um, what we, we really take care of is, is really the, the nonprofit nature of the initiative and, and how people are not just taking the initiative for their, their individual interest. And, and that's the, the more thing we try to be aware. And actually for us, all the Joko worker or all people uh, around Jokolab network uh, can be can give us an alert, and then we 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 go and make uh, some investigation. So we are open, and that's that's also the problem of being open. Like for for now, we are opening uh, two hubs uh, this month. Uh, one in Saint Martin, so it's it's uh, in the Caribbean, you know, and one in Guadeloupe. So it's very far from uh, where we are. Uh, um, but first we see the value of the people who, who, who are uh, pushing the initiative. Then we, are dis we, we discuss with them what the project is, the concept and things, and then we follow. And, and, and then we see, sometimes it's good. Sometimes we have some, we experiment some, uh, some problem and like in, in Benin, we close the, the hubs. And that's why we don't have any hubs, uh, in, the long, hubs in, in Benin and even in Morocco. So, uh, because we want to keep the same, uh, the same, uh, the same principle behind the, the idea of chocolate. Don't know if it's respond to the question. Okay, Th thank you, Karim. There is a thank you it's from from, from Jalo. Uh, she wanted to know exactly what Joko is working on. Just to uh the work of collapse. Hello, Karim? Oui. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. What's the question? Yeah. So I said to Jalo, Tell her more about Joko Lab. I didn't get it. It's it's so it basically she your... wanted to know the work of Joko. Actually, that's that's what we say. Joko Lab is not uh, the one who work, except when we do those uh, experimentation at the action lab. But uh, uh, we create that environment to nurture the entrepreneurship. So that's why it's funny because people are waiting for us there, but actually he wants to create the place where people can do things. So we don't want to be the one who do because we don't want to compete with them also. We want to be neutral and to, to, to make a, a, a neutral environment where people can come and join forces to do things. So it's not us to, have to, to do it. Sometimes we can do it, but more at the action tank, uh, a level. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yes. Uh, sorry, Karim. I have a question. I have a question. Okay. I, I challenge you. I have a okay. question. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, Karim, for your presentation. It's a nice presentation. I I have one questions. 
um, you talk about the systemic change at, uh, at many levels. So many times you have to unlock the new resources. And most of the time, young people, they have the mindset to, to change the system, but they like uh, financial means. How do you support those like-minded young people out there financially to help them um, um, grow their, their initiatives? Thank you. What is an entrepreneur? An entrepreneur find resources to do things. And, and what happened is usually, you, you know, I, I start, I, I didn't get one penny. I start uh, an airplane business, airplane company. I start a mining, small mining company. I start, you know, always with my own resources. And even I, I go to find some partners to give, to bring money on the table, you know? So I do believe that we need to stop thinking on the resources. This is the business because actually we have a lot of manager who train us to become entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is not the guys who make a big business plan and know for five years you need to invest one billion and then need to find the money before starting. He's a one is someone who starts with the resources he has and then he grow up and he go for scaling. That's that's what people need to learn, not just you know making this big uh, business plan and, and then, uh, oh, I need one billion, you know. No, that you can do with different type of project. But uh, uh, believe me, I've done project in million dollars and, uh, and uh, uh, the, 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 the money is there also. If you really have a good project, money is there. You need to find the people who invest with you. But uh, you need to start, usually I say, think big, start small, scale up, you know. So start with what you can. For example, I had one young guy who came to Jokolab and say, oh, I want to, I'm a very great graphic designer. I want to do design and, and on Africa shirts and things, you know. Uh, I said, oh, it's a good idea. We can do it and, 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 and sell it in all the, 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 the Jokolabs, you know. So you, you can have a, a showroom and this. And you know what, I, I found you. Let's start with 100 uh, shirts, you know. And, and even I, I, I bought the 100 shirt and then bring it and the guy said, no, you know, we, uh, we need to start with 5,000. I mean, okay, so let's find someone who can phone you for 5,000. And even now it didn't start it, you know? So start with what you get, show and go, you know? And, and so think big, start small and scale up, you know? And stop focusing on the problem, find solution. And, Okay, so Karim, uh, I have a question yeah. on uh, on system change concept. Um, sometimes, as from my experience, sometimes you may come up with an initiative which can trigger a uh, system change, and it can be a contradiction to to the government, uh, maybe to the policies which are available. And for you to to run it, you you. you Come really contradicting uh, with, with the government, and it, it it may become kind of barrier for your growth uh, of that systemic change initiative. So, what is your views if you meet this kind of uh, uh, challenge? Which kind of strategy can be helpful, or what what is your views uh, to mitigate those kind of challenge? If you if you have got my question right, yeah. There is even worse than that. I mean, um, like us, you know, 10 years ago, there were no hubs. And uh, now you have plenty, even if they are not with the same spirit, there are plenty, so you can say the same, you know? And, and, and actually at Ashoka, I've been trained to be ready and say, okay, when your uh, innovation is becoming uh, a, a mainstream and when, uh, uh, the government even wants to do it. You know, you have a government who wants to start now uh, building hubs and doing things like in Senegal, they invest in 30 million in the hubs, you know? So I don't think it would work, but it's not, it's not my, my concern some, somehow. And, and, and then uh, what, as I said, the, the state is your partner actually. So you need to find a way to talk to them, to exchange to them, to make your advocacy on what is your idea and what are you doing? And more than that, you need to find a way of not being isolated. You need to act with others. So you need to build a community actually of change maker. That's what Ashoka is doing. Because when you come and you are 
3,000 is not the same as when you're alone. You know, that's why, because like uh, I know one time we have one uh, Senegalese uh, Ministry of uh, uh, Digital Economy. He didn't want to see us. He went to, to Benin, they talk about uh, Jokolab. He went to Ivory Coast, they talk about Jokolab. He goes to another country, they, they are talking about Jokolab. He say, what the hell is Jokolab? They, they, they're all saying, hey, it's coming from Senegal, you don't know? And, and, and then, you know, when she come back, she call us and say, well, we need to see you because uh, uh, we hear about you everywhere. So, so uh, the more you are, you know, we have a, a say in, in, in Africa, we say, when you take one uh, stick of uh, wood, uh, it's, it's easy to break it. But when you have five, it's become difficult to break it, you know? So the more you are, the less is difference. That's why you need to build a movement also. So it's, all, it's not only you who are saying it, it's also the others. And then uh, do your advocacy and with your job. I mean, that's, that's why I've been called by Emmanuel Macron to, to, to exchange. And then it changed the thing, but I was pushing for doing more of Jokolab like, so competitor of me. So that's also the change of mindset you can have because if you really want to achieve the, the, uh, the social impact and the impact you want to see in the world, actually you need to be open to leave it to the world actually and, and, and push for getting more competitor to do the things you do to have this impact. But then you will act, your role will be different. So you need to be prepared to that also. Well explained. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I've well understood. Yeah. Karim, I also have a question. Um, in, in your experience, what would you say is the fastest, most efficient and sustainable way of leading systems change? Is it bottoms up approach? Is it top bottom approach? Um, yeah, so I'd just love to know from your experience, what, what would you recommend? The top bottom can be very quick, but the problem they don't understand. <laughs> if they understand, you don't have to be there. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's crazy, but uh, they have the capacity, they have the money, they have uh, everything you know to to make it happen. But they are not. So unfortunately, we have to do it from the bottom. But actually, that's why we have the chance with Jokolab to reach a level so we can talk to the the both, and it's, it's quite unique actually. So, so we are active on the on the uh, the advocacy level, but a very high level, uh, as I said, I have the capacity to talk even to Emmanuel Macron. And can you imagine uh, how those big uh, leaders, uh, international leaders, can have an impact? And then uh, from there to to impact on the on the, the French Development Agency and all those. You know, to, uh, I spend a lot of two years. To, uh, uh, we, as a volunteer, I wasn't paid, eh? actually. <laughs> That's good to know also. So what is your motivation, you know? So, uh, and thanks God I, I can do it because I was an entrepreneur. And, and so we need also to build a capacity of doing things and push it to a, a certain level. Uh, it will expose you uh, and to, 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 to make it happen. So I think we need to both, you know? I, I, I can't say, but what I see is that the resources of the top is, is really huge. I mean, uh, I've seen it in France, I've seen it in Senegal. Uh, I'm also part of the, 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 the Digital Council for Senegal um, with for the, the President Macky Sall. And you know, the state has its, all this capacity. So you need to push them to change. You know, that's why we are working with Ashoka to push them also uh, with the Ministry of uh, Social uh, Economy to to, 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 to have another understanding of what is a social uh, entrepreneur, the, 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 the definition of Ashoka, so they can put it in the law and so we can have a, a different impact, you know, because they have that power. And then they can come with some funds and support so it will increase what you're doing. But you come with what you have learned from, from the bottom. If you haven't spent time in the bottom, you don't have the, the, the real, um, uh, uh, capacity to represent somehow, you know? So we need those both. And also, as I said, with this complex thinking, uh, as there is also problem from the system you built, you need also to, to think that perhaps there is problem that will be anticipated and then the, the government will say, hey, you have a problem in your system, you know? So so we really need to exchange with everybody. Uh, that's that's also part of the ecosystem approach. It's, it's more complex because you need to, to 
get on board a lot of people who are totally different and thinking differently, you know? So, so they, I, I, don't know, I, I can't say uh, this is better than the others. It's also, as every entrepreneur, a kind of opportunity you have uh, one time, you know, you met a ministry, it fits and he, he, he really wants to, to engage with you or you have your, your community also who are uh, very keen to do things. Uh, the context uh, will dict, uh, will, 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 will give the, the solution, I think. And it's not one size fits for all again. Thank you. Please, uh, Jacqueline. Thanks, Karim. Other questions? Some two more questions, and then we are okay. And and just Hello? something perhaps I haven't said is uh, Jocolab is active in France, but not for Africa because many of our hubs in, in Africa, but we are active in France, in Nanterre, just uh, behind uh, uh, La Défense. And we are open in Marseille and we are in discussion for Bordeaux. And, and what we do in France is not just being in connection with Africa, but it's also to do the things we do uh, in Africa, in France, because it's the same, um, the same thing. We need to build new kind of entrepreneur. We need to change. We need to build a innovation, in, but in a different local context. Thank you, Kari. Someone? Another question? Mm -hmm. I want to be sure that people are still there. Can you turn your video? <laughs> then we can show that people are still around. And even Don't worry, we are here. We are, we are around. <laughs> even, even they can take a picture, a group picture. <laughs> yeah. So please turn, turn on your, your camera, your video, then we can, we can show that. Yeah. Hello, everybody. OK. So is there any other question to Karim? Uh, yeah. We, yeah. we don't have yeah. chance to, to meet him, so. Yeah, yeah. I, have a, I have a question. It's, it's like, it's a tricky okay, question. Go ahead. So, yeah, it's a tricky question. Most of the time people say, we don't need to reinvent the cycle. The cycle is already there. So we just copy and paste. So how do you think about this, uh, this statement? It's like if you take a, <laughs> a car, and you yeah. say, hey, that, that uh, F1 uh, car is great for my, for my road. You don't have to copy it. You, know? you need to adapt it. Perhaps you need a four by four. So uh, I don't think copy paste is a, is, is a good one, but you can be inspired, but you need to adapt to the local. That's why I say we need to be in a global mindset, global, I mean, global and local. You mean, Take the inspiration from everywhere because there is a lot uh, going on everywhere and you can have a lot of uh, inspiration, knowledge and things that will feed you and nurture your initiative, but you need to adapt it to your local situation. And, 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 and even the local situation can be from one town to another, from the same country, you know, or even one suburb to another. So, uh, you know, so be careful. Um, can I say something? Daniel speaking. Sorry, yeah. I didn't put my hand. Yeah, Daniel. Yeah, yeah. Um, regarding to that issue of reinventing the wheel, I think also the circumstance at which you try to reinvent the wheel matters. Um, coming, coming from an engineering background, there are points whereby we had to tear uh, the code aside such that we can be able to achieve a specific functionality. Uh, coming to real situations, uh, being in America, I have taken like this six months trying to understand the American system of operating. Um, if I'm to pick the American system and I try to replicate it back in my country, Uganda, it's not going to work effectively. So why not pick the system, re-engineer it to suit my society, yeah, and then come up with something that will be able to be great, yeah? So if you know where to reinvent. Huh? You reinvent, 
tailoring it to local processes such that you'll be able to strike. I think that's the whole essence behind reinventing the wheel. Yeah. Thank you. We say the same thing then. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Thank you, Daniel. So, Mark, the floor is yours. Okay, everybody. Um, thank you so much, Karim. Um, I learned a lot, and I'm sure our participants have as well. Um, is it okay for, if our participants want to get in touch with you, is that okay? Is there any way they can continue to follow your work, to support your work? Can you just, you know, provide a little bit of um, contact info, if you don't mind? Sure, sure. No problem. Can you hear me? Sorry, Christian, do you have a question? Yes. So sorry, I wanted to ask it before you came. So I, 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 I don't know, is this still possible for me to go on? Um, so let's do this. If you can put your question in the chat, I'll make note of it. Then we're going to follow up with folks and, um, you know, um, and Kareem is going to provide his contact information, so. Okay. Um, okay, well, thank you all so much for your participation. Um, we didn't have a chance this time to do our breakout groups as planned, uh, but do not uh, worry because we will definitely um, use our office hours next Tuesday to go over both of the exercises we shared before um, the, the, um, today's webinar. So we'll still have a chance to do some breakout groups, to do some exercises, just to give you a little bit more uh, practical tools that you can implement in your own organizations to create system change. So this is the conclusion of our second webinar. Again, office hours are next Tuesday. You all should have received a, um, um, a link to that webinar. If you haven't, please contact your office rep. Uh, but we will be in touch um, um, probably tomorrow with the survey for this webinar, as well as with a reminder about next week's office hours. So thank you all so much for joining us today. Um, and have a great rest of your day. Yeah. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye. I share my question in the chat, but I think it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I have your question. We'll follow up. Don't worry. Thank you, Christian. Oh, thank you. Thank See ya. You. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you, translator. Fabrice, thank you for the translation. Thank you, Fabrice. Let me bring Fabrice back. <laughs> thank you, Fabrice. Can you hear us?